What is going on YouTube? This is Acid Roots. So I'm going to review the second disc of like the Ludacris 2006 mixtape. Basically this project is called Pre-Release Therapy and it came out in the late summer of 2006. So basically back in March I reviewed Pre-Release Therapy Disc 1 which is the more not chopped and screwed version of this particular mixtape. Basically it had like 21, 22 songs in there as far as pitches like that kind of happened. It was a pretty good mixtape definitely. Had a lot of appealing songs, a lot of good productions on that particular type there. But the chopped and screwed version is a little bit different. I'm going to have to go ahead and say despite how many songs I recommend on here I still would have to say that the, well it's a good one-two punch. You definitely want to download both of these as far as pitches like that kind of happen at least within the sense. If you're not used to chopped and screwed type music Music is the sort of concept, obviously, with DJ Screws type sound, the pitch just behind it being really trippy on this warped of like some purple drink or some pitches like that. But really, if you're just really feeling like the after effect of like some like several beers or just like you know like some Crown Royal, some pitches like that, some heavy vodka, some pitches like that, I'd have to say it's an excellent type concept. Kind of get some mixed drinks going as far as pitches like that kind of go. Definitely some real trippy, dreary type stuff to kind of get within the sense. The thing about it is though, it's just out of these particular songs, it's just kind of the factoid that Ludacris does not really deliver all of these. <clears throat> Not every single one of these songs is suited for chopped and screwed, I'd have to say. Some of these type ones, some of these more East Coast type productions on here just don't really fit that particular fold. There's some ones, as much as I like the beat Piggy Bank by 50 Cent, that's not really one that works quite as well with chopped and screwed. I mean, it is a pretty trippy type production normally on normal fare, but it just didn't really add up to much as far as that kind of goes. There's some ones like Cannon at least translates pretty well. It's a pretty good Don Cannon type beat to kind of get. But I had to say like Jay-Z's You Don't Know from the Blueprint just didn't really work that well. That one's not probably as full but meant to be as trippy of one as, to, as far as that particular kind of happens. That one was just a little bit more of like an ambitious kind of up on your feet, upright type song I had to say. Maybe not so much upright but just more bustle in mind. Just kind of the concept of this kind of this more pep. <clears throat> didn't really make sense. It's like a slinky type song. So it's just kind of the concept about it. So I'm going to go ahead and just right off the bat kind of score this album as far as pitches like that kind of happen. So... Basically out of 21 songs on the Chopped and Screwed edition. So there's 43 songs on the entire mixtape, first disc and second disc. But basically 22 of them are on the regular version and 21 are on the Chopped and Screwed version. So out of 21 songs. But the thing about it is, is just the fact that the Chopped and Screwed edition... The Chopped and Screwed Edition removes the skit, so there's basically three new songs in here that are only on the Chopped and Screwed Edition, which originally I thought that there was far more than that. I was kind of a little bit more excited back in March when I thought that Disc 2, just because it had some different song titles, was going to be a differential pitch where Ludacris was actually going to add some songs in there. But there's really only three new songs within that format. These are all, I mean, at least a couple of these are pretty good to kind of get to at least warrant fucking with this particular product if you just are here for more than just the slowed down versions of some of these type songs. But I just would have to say that's kind of the concept. I kind of look after some good moments, but I, pro I, I think Ludacris probably could have packed a few extra songs in here. I definitely think he probably could have saved some of those type of productions that you would have only heard in Chopped and Screwed. Just trying to think of a few ones that would have been pretty excellent to a freestyle to circuit like the late 2005, early 2006 type fair. Me trying to think of like, trying to think of some ones that came out around this time. I think Fireman would have been a pretty nice one by Lil Wayne. That would have been a pretty dope one to have gotten. And like, um, I think Buster Rhymes' Touch It would have been a pretty nice one to have heard and chopped and screwed as far as pitches like that kind of happen. I think Pharrell's Can I Have It Like That would have been a pretty nice one. Just some pitches like that. There's definitely some ones in there to have kind of gotten as far as that particular kind of happens, but would have been nice to have gotten some. I mean, and this is, I mean, I feel like Ludacris is pre-release therapy disc one definitely got like over a nine out of ten for me something like that nine or nine point twenty five out of ten but this one is go ahead and say the score of this particular product me recommending uh 13 out of 21 songs on here that's going to approximately get like a 7.25 out of 10. Yeah, I'll go ahead and say that the disc two of this particular pre-release therapy mixtape, the chopped and screwed version of this particular product is going to get like a 7.25 out of 10. I realize that that's somewhat higher, but because this is a mixtape and this is free and you get some chopped and screwed type stuff, like when you pick up Paul Wall's The People's Champ album, getting the chopped and screwed edition of that one, it's it costs money as far as pitches like that kind of goes. So just the fact that Ludacris was able to do all the work of this, then particularly hook up with Michael 5000 Watts as far as that particular kind of happens, one of Paul Walls producers off a of Swisher house and get this in chopped and screwed format just for the the format of disc recreation is pretty good excellent concepts I, I, I do applaud that as far as that particular one goes 7.25 out of 10 it's just the fact that some of these just didn't really translate that well it's just kind of the concept I almost feel like some of these type ones should have been axed in like favor like a format that probably would have worked better maybe just like a few extra songs I mean there are at least three but there are at least three new songs in here but at least one out of those three is not probably at least one out of those three is not all that 
aspect to kind of have upon here, I just would have to say, really, the No Drama Flow, which is a Mary J. Blige song, as far as that pitch goes, off of her 2005 album, it's just one that didn't really make too much sense as trying to freestyle too. It did have Paul Wall on there and his wife, Crystal Wall, and some pitches like that. It had some other folks like, it did have Paul Wall on there and his wife, Crystal Wall, on there, and some folks like Lil Kiki and Young Red and some of those type of folks, but it just didn't really have the appeal that much. Just was not really that compelling of one. It just didn't really make sense to chop and screw that one. They probably should have picked something different. I, 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 I realized that they probably wanted a Mary J. Blige type song, but it just didn't really make a lot of sense. It's really one to really go in and freestyle to as far as that kind of went. It was just kind of one that was an awkward type one. But yeah, basically to talk about, I'm going to talk about the two new songs, which I do recommend. Two of what, the, the two songs I do recommend out of the three new on here would be Where You At, which is a Kanye West and Ludacris song. And the other one is Vicious Flow, which is a Kuda Bang and Archie Lee song, which are some affiliates of Swisher House, which is Paul Wall's label as far as that kind of goes. So so basically some of these productions that work extremely well out of the 13 songs I do recommend. There's some really excellent type ones that are just meant and born to be chopped and screwed as far as pitches like that kind of happen. Definitely feel like one of the best ones on here for that would be Shoulder Lane. That's a real nice one. Mr. Me Too is a real excellent type one by The Clips. That's a real shrouded type one to kind of get a real tipsy type one. Uh, Lean With It, Rock With It. It's a real nice one. That was a pretty excellent type song. I mean that... Considering that Dem Franchise Boys has a chopped and screwed album on their own, it just makes perfect sense that, that was a song. I'm very glad that Ludacris chose that one to rap to a distant, like a normal sense, but also in like a chopped and screwed sense. Ludacris's Grew Up a Screw Up's a real nice one to kind of get. It's like a, I mean, that that song was already chopped and screwed just in the chorus as far as pitches like that can happen, but that just bolstered the song even further. It's a real excellent pitches. The kind of more Middle Eastern type bop, club bop of Shakedown's a real nice one. That's a real trippy type one. That one really feels like you're just high as hell, just completely. T tossed out of your mind as far as that particular one happens. It's a real excellent type one to get. Definitely, that one was a good evolution of being chopped and screwed, I'd have to say. Rob the Robbers was like a good Traverse type one, like typical 3-6 Mafia type fair, just kind of get within that aspect. It's kind of some Traverse just in like a head trip type format. If you are rolling around with your dogs and pitches like that, it's a good concept kind of go out and about and just be really tore up. This whole project is just the tore up version of some of this. It's just kind of the concept of just being, like I said, real head trip, just spun out of your minds and pitches like that, twisted, have hella bruise in your systems and pitches like that. You dig with duffel bag... The, the Duffel Boys, the Duffel Bag Boys song, which is to, a freestyle to the song you dig off of Jeezy's Can't Ban the Snowman mixtapes, and they're nice, and this is a real trippy type one. And there's just some good ones on here to really have some of that type of appeal. A lot of this is just where you got to sit down, and you're just feeling so good that you got to sit down as far as that particular one goes to some real good concepts. So a lot of these, mostly the Southern type beats, I do feel like Mr. Me Too is a pretty nice one, and Cannon are some pretty nice ones in terms of the East Coast type fair. It's just a good pitch to kind of get some of those, but some of these, I just feel like some of the beats, uh, I mean, obviously Ludacris was just cheap. Ludacris was also just choosing like some good productions to kind of rap to in like a more multifaceted type format, but some of these just didn't translate well. That's why I kind of felt like there probably should have been some different songs, like a Pharrell song or like like another Kanye song like I definitely think Drive Slow I would have loved to have heard Ludacris on Drive Slow by Kanye West that would have been a real nice one to have thrown on here especially within this format that would have been a nice one so just some ones like that some of those type Ferris Fireman some of those type pitches Money on My Mind Hustling by Rick Ross Money on My Mind by Lil Wayne some of those type Ferris all good pitches for that but <clears throat> look after there's just a lot of these large amounts is a pretty nice one that's a really funny song just listening to that one all the kind of comedic flavor that Ludacris had on like on the red light district is a pretty good concept so Ludacris does include some songs on here that are on his albums which is a pretty good pitch so I would definitely recommend the chopped and screwed version of large large amounts real should be a good one to have you sniggering and cackling as far as pitches like that kind of go I mean, yeah there's just some overall nice ones so talk about some of these new songs on here so where are you at the Kanye West and Ludacris type song is a nice one it's like an operatic kind of glazed summer evening city where are you at is like an operatic kind of glazed summer evening city stepping of a song on had to say in particular it's like the screwed version of this particular song makes it extra pulpy and just kind of a song to kind of be in a slump too as far as that particular kind of goes it's really kind of this morose kind of head trip type fair as far as that particular kind of goes. This really kind of a violent type one. I don't remember what the original song format. I want to say that it used to be like a T-Mobile commercial or something. That relative pitch it was a song that was kind of like a promo type song, some pitches like that. But I just don't know what happened to that particular song as far as it kind of went. I want to say there was like the game was on that song too as far as that particular kind of went. It's just a pretty nice one. It's just interesting because Kanye West was where you at was more in like the prep type days of Kanye West. So this one just felt a little bit more thematic and just kind of more like play like I would have to say in particular just like when I say operatic type feel it just felt very theater like just within the aspect of it just felt like something that Jay-Z would have done in like like the not like the 444 days or pitches like that or like Kanye West and like the beautiful dark twisted fancy days there was like a song that uh and 
that. You know, it's like a song that Jay Z and Kanye West were on off of Dark Fantasy. I'll probably put that in the connotation, but that was like a particular song that sounds kind of similar to this one as far as like that is overall looming kind of doom it type sound, but just within some city stepping in the chopped and screwed version just really makes it kind of like a, a swirl of a project is overall this morose kind of head trip i had say this real slump type song and then ludicrous has a pretty good verse on there he has his punch lines and this snappy flow like he always does and then vicious flow is a pretty nice one it's like a slurred out kind of vanilla hop and bop i would have to say on like a sunny day i would definitely feel like pretty summery type song it's like a normal this is like some normal fair for texas types this song is like some normal fair for texas type stuff considering that they spawn like the chopped and screwed type development as far as that particular kind of goes there's some good aspects this is this like uh, it's like a fish to water for some of these type folks. I feel like Kuda Bang and Archie Lee probably grew up on these particular type sounds. DJ Screw in like the 90s, early 2000s. As far as fish like that kind of happen, this is a great song to cruise out to. So it has that appeal. The thing about this particular song is it's not that completely trippy. This is just one where you're kind of feeling it. I would definitely have to say it's a good slurred out type one to kind of get here, but it's not as vicious as like where you at or some of these ones on here like Shoulder Lane or Mister Me Too or some of those type ones or like you dig or cannon or large amounts or lean with it just some of those type ones lean with it rock with it just that i'd say it's just a good concept kind of see some of that but this is just kind of pr pretty much i would probably say vicious flow would be something that just kind of going out and about on like a standard day maybe you're not the one driving as far as pitches like that kind of happen but just a feel good type one to kind of have some of that relative type sleaze of just getting some ta kind of getting some tasks done picking up a pizza or picking up like some subway some pitches like that and just kind of overall having a time and just really feeling the head trip the vicious flow is definitely a pretty peppy type song compared to where you at which just has a little bit more compared to where you at which just has a little bit more looming and operatic and just overall ghastly type feel about it it has to say in particular so that's the concept about this particular mixtape i give this mixtape like a 7.25 out of 10 i would almost give it a higher score just because the execution behind it. i'm almost tempted to give it like a seven and a half or something i'm almost tempted to give it like a seven and a half or pitches like that but i'll just give it like a 7.25 because the quality is definitely here there's more it's pretty much more than a dozen songs on this particular product that have like that effectual type flavor it's just a good concept i mean a chopped and screwed project is just supposed to kind of be like the head trip type version of like normal type music it's just the fact that some of these just because some of these were just meant to be more varietized and within the aspect of just having something more to rap to than just like southern hip-hop it's just kind of the concept that the southern songs just take to that particular sound like a fish to water a little bit better they just have that more bass and just kind of funk overall there's some ones like i was saying like mr me too canon but I mean, there might be some folks that like the Jay-Z you don't know or some of those type ones, but a lot of these just felt like really they didn't translate that, that well. The chopped and screwed type formats are just cruising around and really hearing the speakers blast and some of those type things that I have to say. So I just didn't see it. But the Soja score, the Soja score is going to get like an 8.75 out of 10. I feel like the Soja score is high enough to the point where the quality is definitely on here. I would almost give it a higher score than that. I would almost give it like a higher score than an 8.75, but I just look after the quality is definitely here. It's just kind of the concept that there need to be more songs. I definitely feel like some of these ones that didn't translate, eight songs that didn't translate as well as this kind of concept. It's not as much of a full-blown home run victory as what it probably would full-blown need to kind of be. I just look after it just within the concept. Definitely there's some ones on here. There's like, like I said, there's more than a dozen kind of hit after hit type ones to get, but it's just kind of the concept in terms of like the new formats. Yeah, where are you at? Where are you? I would definitely say, yeah, where are you at? It's a pretty nice one. Vicious Flow is a pretty nice one as well, but it's just kind of the concept. Ludicrous is not even on Vicious Flow, which is kind of unfortunate. It's too bad that he wasn't on there. Would have been nice to have heard his snappy punchlines and some of those types uh, on that particular type song. I just look after that's just kind of the format behind it. So, so just some of those nitpickings, the the no drama type song probably didn't need to be on there, even despite the fact that some of those rappers might have been good. It was just not a, a choice kind of chopped and screwed type one. So it's just kind of some of those concepts. But I mean, the quality, I feel like the songs that work definitely work pretty well. And it's definitely a very trippy and this overall morose type project to really have some truly snarling kind of head trips and this overall some overall snarling head trips and just warp type times but it's just kind of constant it's just not as much it just needed a, it just needed a little bit more beef end of like quantity on here i'd have to say that's the concept so in terms of the future like ludicrous once again has not put out a project since 2015 as far as pitches like that can happen but yet and still there are more projects for me to find i got i've got one that's coming in a few months as far as that particular kind of happens with it. there's definitely some ones i want to get to these are mixtapes from here on out but it's just kind of the concept that there are a few more they'll probably have you curious about some of these because i feel like a lot of these folks on youtube just have not really talked about them even in like standard youtube videos or even much of just like even the songs being uploaded so it's just kind of a concept definitely some surprises to put with ludicrous as far as pitches like that can happen i just would definitely have to say so this is 
pretty the quantity the quality of this mixtape is definitely here it just is a, it's mildly underhanded by look after it mostly the the feel in it like some of these chopped and screw type ones the ones that actually had a really really demonic and just a swirling head trip that's definitely worth the investment and plus some of the new songs are pretty vicious as well 